Yeah, I'm alive, Janio. How yeah, are hello. you? I'm all right, thank you very much. I'm still a bit croaky, but I'm here. I think we all are. <coughs> so keep going. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. <laughs> Shall we shut that door? Say thank you, love. Let's do that. And then it's just thee and me. It's lovely. Ah, um, I hope you're all well this morning. Welcome to Textile Tuesday. We call it Textile Tuesday because. Well, invariably, we have various beautiful textiles for we you. We do, yes. Yesterday, we had all sorts of different textures, didn't we? So we had the cork, we had the tapestry, we had all sorts of beautiful goodies. Beautiful things. Um, and, 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 so after the show, work. we had various messages about the handles because I came up with the 25 centimetre frame pattern and you can either do it with or without handles. Yes. And lots of comments saying they liked it with, if you just want like a really big wash bag, makeup bag or anything, then this is perfect. You don't need the handles. But if you want to suddenly create it and make it into a... Very nice handbag. Exactly. Then these are the handles. And then somebody said, do you have any other colours? And within half an hour, the order arrived. <laughs> So we do. So now we do. Yes, yes, yes. So it's amazing what a difference putting the handles on makes to the overall finish of the bag. Does, doesn't it? Yeah. It really, really does. So, because um, obviously there's always going to be one person that goes, I don't like the colour. That's fine. Everyone's got, I don't know if they said it like that, Jane. I'm sure they did. In my head, that's always how it is. Yeah. Because it, it becomes like a child saying, yeah. I don't like my dinner. Yes. And I'm like, oh, of course not. Of course you don't. Um, whereas actually, it's all good, personal preference and all that. These all come with silver rivets. But I did a rivet set a little while ago where yes. you've got different colours in. So I just swap out for different colours. Now these are... You see, you could have had them in dark brown. Yeah, it's a lovely chocolatey brown. That it is, isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah. And these are PU, aren't they? They're not leather. No, they're not leather. Wonderful. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you could... That would make a... So just let me know if you need more rivets because I can get that lovely blue, which would look lovely with the strawberry tea from the golden lily as well. Wouldn't it? it would, but <coughs> also just taking out of the package and never thought about it. Fabulous with the blue carpet. Look at that. Nice. Lovely. Ooh. <laughs> and then your tan which is actually slightly lighter than that one. It's just a slightly different colour. So they are your new options, and I will <coughs> move these out your way, Jane, and repackage them later. Let me pop them up there. So apart from the frog in your throat, yes. are you all good? Yeah, all good, thank Excellent. you. Yes. Good, eh? Lovely. Um, when you weren't all good last week, Yes. We were offered this quilt. We were. Which we absolutely jumped at and went, yes. yes, please and thank you. Yes. Because we were working on a short week anyway, so we were a bit behind with everything. And it just gave us a bit of breathing space, didn't it? Did. It did. And it's rather lovely. It is gorgeous. Can I move the, the big... Yeah, of course you can. It's oh, gorgeous. this was just, yeah, just to show you what it looked like with both the handles on. Yeah, it's gorgeous, isn't So it? this was yesterday's make with both sets of handles on and... A magnetic clasp. I love the flash of red that you get. I love that red lining. It's perfect. So you can either hold it like that or over your shoulder and away you go. Wonderful. But moved out the way it is, Jane. Just so that we can see the beautifulness. You know I love a rainbow. Can't resist. I know it's not a full rainbow, but it's so warm and bright, isn't it? It's, it's just stunner. gorgeous. It is a stunner. Now, to explain, we were, um, we've been able to bring you a little bit of a discount on this because our supplier went, well, if you've got some colours that we've never tried, we'll give you a little bit of a discount. So we always pass that on. Yeah. Um, and the reason that we don't normally stock Spectrum colours, which is the Macau ones, is that they're just that little bit more expensive than yes. and Hubble. But sometimes it's nice to have that. Yeah. A little bit premium. It's nice quality. It's lovely. And that's not to belittle the planes no, that the we planes do have. No, the planes that we stock are lovely and they're nice to work with. But it's Macau fabric at the end of the day. And we all know Macau fabric's just a little bit more. So, we've been able to bring it to you at a fantastic price. And, 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 Jane, mm -hmm. there's a free pattern coming with it. There is. 
Yes. Who is the pattern actually by? It's by Lynn Goldsworthy. Brilliant. We love Lynn. She's brilliant. Clever, She's clever lady. Clever lady. It's half square triangles mixed and matched around to make a wonderful visual feast, I think is the word That's that we're looking right. for. It is. It's just, I don't know what it is, it just makes me happy. It's a happy quilt. You can't go wrong with a happy no. quilt. Now, Lynn has English paper feast, actually. Um, foundation paper. Foundation paper, paper yes. yes. Foundation. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to show you piece. Lynn's way of doing it. Right. Because I like to honour the designer. You know, when you said that, what I heard in my head was English paper piece, which is why I said to you, we should have hexaforms on the show and yeah. show everyone how to EPP everything. You must have thought I was mad. Well, no, because I thought the bundle lends itself to all sorts of things. That's true. It doesn't true. have to do this quilt. It's just gorgeous fabric. This is your serving <laughs> suggestion. I'm very quickly going to see who we've got with us Lovely. so that we know who it is we're actually <clears throat> talking to this morning. <clears throat> We have got Claire with us, Grace with us, Jan. Good morning. Chris is here. Morning, Natasha. Morning all. Really looking forward to watching your demo, Jane, for this beautiful quilt. Um, and love to Gemma too. Gemma is still poorly. Yes, yeah, she is. Bless mm -hmm. her. Mm -hmm. Sending um, big hugs. We are sending big hugs. Um, Auntie Susie Crangle's here. Ah, couldn't find you a couple of more, a uh, couple of minutes this morning. We're here. We're always here. Joy's here. Jane's here. Tracy's here. Morning, Tracy. <gasps> I need to reply to your email. I think it's fine. Tracy, I think it's absolutely fine. We've just been a little bit hectic. Lynn's here. Uh, it's just Jane, that quilt is stunning. And Sue's here. Jan, Jan B is here. Jane O is here. And Betty Hopcroft is here. Julia's here. That's um, a lovely name, Betty Hopcroft. It sounds almost any blight to me. Hopcroft. Hopcroft, even better. Either way. I love it. Either way, you're but good with yeah. you just think, ooh. It just sounds Story. right. <laughs> a bit like Kate Fenton. Yes. Morning. Hi, Mum. Morning. Uh, Kirsty's here. Morning all. Home alone. Hubby's gone into the office today. <laughs> you know when I just feel that's dangerous? Uh, Claudia is here. Good morning, ladies, she says. Susanna's here. Grace is here. Um, Leslie's here. Love that quilt. My internet is awful, so couldn't watch yesterday's show. Oh. What wonder if you could download it. Or if that, you can download it overnight, maybe. Watch it I don't on know. YouTube. Can you watch it on YouTube? Still needs the internet. Yeah. Does so you mean have YouTube on your television sometimes, can't you? Yeah, sometimes. I know it needs the internet still. But download it and then it's there and you don't yeah. get the interruption. I don't know why it's either of us are trying to give any <laughs> technical <laughs> advice. There's no point. <laughs> it's just, you know, blind leading the blind, literally. <laughs> Tasha and I are just like... If anything goes wrong and we're like, oh no, what we do now? <laughs> oh dear. Uh, Claire's got a poorly gorg. Gorg? That can be dog. Can be. Be. I've got a poorly tether half. That's for yes, sure. Yes, I've got a poorly boy. My baby boy. Not very well. I think I've given him my lurgy. Oops. It's still not like it. Sharing's caring. It is. Always. Obviously, if I get his nibs, his yeah, then I will please. not be very happy for sharing. <laughs> um, Ali H says, Morning, ladies, from a rather dull West Yorkshire. Hurrah for lovely, cheerful fabric. It's feel good fabric, isn't it? It is. In it all is. aspects. This colour, Spectrum, I mean, the band's called Spectrum, but that bl blend of colours is just beautiful, joyful. And um, other Ali says, Morning, all scrummy as always, lambs fed and out for the morning. Grandson giving granddaughter tractor handling practice. Before her course later this week. Scones in the oven. She's hiding. Oh, Trish is we here. Watched a pro Mum and I watched a programme yesterday and they were eating scones. And we both looked at each other and said, do you want a scone now? And I was like, yes. And now, is it Ali you know that's yeah. just said? And I'm, I, I pictures Ali's farmhouse. Yeah. Beautiful big cut kitchen. Yeah. Arga. Yeah. Huge oak table. Yeah. Lam massive pile yeah. of scones in the middle of it with yeah. loads of butter. And um, homemade jam. Oh, you see, in my head, they were cheese scones. Oh, right. So my mum, she gets really upset that I say she's not the best. <laughs> um, so, mum, your cooking's delicious. Um, the one thing she does really, really well, she has a few dishes that she does beautifully, yeah. and her cheese scones I do love with a little, a little yeah. snitch of paprika. Oh, nice. Uh, and cayenne pepper. Just the a little sprinkling. sitting out there. Just sitting on the... Edge of the 
the frame and is just like... I think the Robin heard that we had a new garden fork. Yes. After somebody... To pose on, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Um, Trisha says it's wet in Liverpool. Love this quote. The colours are gorgeous. It's a bit soggy here as well. I just, I don't know. I think we're all fed up with this rain now. It's good sewing days. Yes. Got to think of the positives. And Anne yeah. from Cypress is in the UK. Watching with her daughter. Oh. Nice. Go. I think that is us. Caught up on a lot of that. Joe's here as well. Joe's watching. Uh, morning, everybody. She says, right, Jane. We bring every week, we bring half me to heavens. We do. And we have nearly 100 plain fabrics, which is why we stick with Rose and Hubble, because we've got nearly 100 of them. Yes, and there's a few vast array of colours. However, thee and me mm. are a little bit particular. We are a bit pernickety, yes. <laughs> In a good way. For you. For you. I'm not going to apologise no. for that. No. And every now and then, we get a fabric that comes in and we cannot match it properly quite 100%. Yeah. There are certain shades of purple that just aren't quite blue enough. No. Or, or grey Grey enough. Blue. Yes. This is like this mix of grey, blue, purple and we're like, why haven't we got that colour? Yeah. <laughs> Because purples are either more on the reddy side or the bluey grey side. Yes. And sometimes we don't get the exact or pinky shades. Yeah. And sometimes we get really frustrated. The other colour that drives us mad is mustard. We never have the right mustard. No. Are you a Dijon kind of a girl? I do like a bit of Dijon mustard. Mm -hmm. Yes. I like a good mustard selection. Yeah, I like a whole grain. I do, oh, do like you? a veggie sausage sandwich with whole grain mustard. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you. I like a mustard mayonnaise. Trickle, trickle, Ooh. whatever they name are, do the most amazing. Yes. It's almost like a mustard mayonnaise meets piccalilli type situation. <gasps> nice. It's delicious. Goes we always end up talking about food. Anyway, anyway, anyway um, <laughs> mustard. Finally, we found a mustard. So, <clears throat> what we have for you here are... A selection from Spectrum of the planes we feel we have a gap in. Yes. In our many ones. Yes. So I'm going to show you, and you can let us know. Um, oh, yeah, Sue says, this is why I love bumbleberries or Moda Grunge to blend. Yeah. Oh, and Julie says, mashed potato with whole grain mustard. Oh, gosh, yes. <laughs> Onion gravy. stew that I do with mustard mash. Oh, now I'm on root stew. Oh my god! Sorry. Talk about Sorry. auto suggestion, and they wonder why advertising works. I know. Do you know what? Given that I don't bake, we don't have to talk about food a lot. Okay. We do, though, don't we? We do. Um, right. <clears throat> we have got mustard. I'm going to say, is that one the sea, sea foam. foam, blue sea, lilac, lavender, and regal? These are the colours that we don't have. Yeah. This if you one want just them. sits between our spearmint and our mint. Yeah. It's just that little bit more minty. Yeah. And yet soft. Yes. Less bright, a little softer. Yeah. Perfect. Just ideal. It makes me happy. Uh, in fact, I want to That was ironic because we've sold all our tilda now. And it's this like was the these, we were these are the colours that would have gone beautifully mm. with the tilda. Mm. And the tula, to be honest. I mean, look at that. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Just as an array, that's rather special. It is lovely. Um, we're going to throw that mustard in there as well. Um, they are the ones that are the gaps. So if you maybe bought our um, subscriptions, plain subscriptions, yeah, then this would be a gap that you, of colours that you maybe don't have. So maybe one to think. We've bundled them all together so that you don't have to try and wriggle around and find them. Are we selling them individually as well? Um, that's a Gemma question. I just said, please bundle them. Yes. Uh, the other thing, talking of bundles, Jane, that we yes. have. We did our plain subscription. And we, we know that we're clearing things back from the warehouse. And we found some of our planes. So we we've have. got one, two, three. We've got four of the pinks. They're fat quarter bundles. So shall I just, I'm just going to yeah. open these up. So what we did, and actually some people have asked if we could just do them again. Um, we did fat quarters or long quarters depending on which ones you signed up for 
and over the course of the year you got sent fat quarters for basically all our planes. Yes, I think we did them in bundles of eight and I think there was one bundle where you got a duplicate but yeah. everything else was one of each plane. And we labelled them with the colour no, colour name and the colour code number. So when you so it's like because we keep being asked for switch swatches, switch, yeah, swatches, swatches, swatches. Yeah. Um, and we don't have time for that. But we do have time to do this yes. and put the stickers on so that you can create your own. And then when you run out, you know what colour you are then reordering. Yes. Yeah. Do you know what that might be a job for Miss Emily Alice? Could you imagine well, make, she'd going love her that. to make up a swatch card of? Nearly a hundred different planes. She'd love it. Oh. For the first two, maybe. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. here, she sat and put 60 odd magnetic bats together the other day. It's like that. Yeah, if anything's missing, I apologise for my side over there. She's very particular about it. She is so isn't she? Yeah. She made sure she got the male and the female, put them together, and then she put a washer on each one. Good girl. She was very methodical. There's not a job I could give to my son. No, Freddie would get fed up within five, I would say. Not even that good. <laughs> he'd, but he's always been just bish bash bosh. Yeah. Just, uh, you know, Emily will make things, Freddie will just destroy things. And that's just always been the way. If he can but bash it, he does. Mind, I can oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, they're all different. Oh, was this long quarters or fat quarters again? Fat quarters of neutrals. Oh, this was a really useful one, wasn't it? Yeah. We did the Echo Star quilt using just neutrals. And it was very effective. It was very effective. The other thing is, um, we had... So, so I, I actually emailed. I'm such an interfering person sometimes. <laughs> but with a good heart. So, <laughs> you know the order I'm talking about, don't you? Yeah. And I emailed the customer. She'd bought some beautiful, beautiful um, fabrics with a, with a light background. Yes. And then she'd bought ivory. And when they went together, I was like... She bought them to go together because actually the next shade up is the exact match to that background. Yeah. She wanted them for completely different projects, so I shouldn't have interfered at all. But I was just like, if I got those and then found out there was something that matched it perfectly, I would be upset. Yes. And well, we can do that, you see. We can just offer. So we can just do, interfere. We do, people do <laughs> ask us if we'll match things, and we're quite happy to do that. And even when they don't, we I still, do still it. interfere. We still offer the opportunity. No, I tell you what it was. It was I can remember exactly which fabrics it was, Jane. It was the vanilla, wasn't it? It looked beautiful. Was it, it was. With the, no, it was with the Kaufman. That's right, yes. I wonder if I've got any of the Kaufman. Just to prove my point of how beautiful it was, because we've still got some of it. Still got, it was this one. Yes. So, case it right. This, this was how it happened, right? And they'd ordered the ivory, which is fine. Looks but lovely. Actually, and you put all vanilla next to it. And you go, oh, no, that's the one. Yeah. Which one would you rather have to go with that fabric? Actually, she didn't want it to go with that fabric at all. all. No, it was completely, completely interfering. Different. But just in case. So it just, but it just shows you why if you've got them there in front of you, yes, you, you then know. And was it's always nice to have them matching. The most long-winded way of explaining. But it's nice sometimes to see it visually, isn't it? How the difference, because the ivory looked lovely. Now everyone knows that I snuck a bit of Kaufman <laughs> and hide it in my cupboards. Um, the customer going, I just needed that piece. <laughs> no, it's mine. Um, so we've got that left over, we've only got one of those. And then we've these got... These are long quarters, these two. Blues, oh yeah, it's got LQ on it. Um, blues and purples. These are turquoise and blues. So sort of like sea blues, if you like. I'm just going to... They're beautiful. Yeah, because, okay, so this this was the thing, wasn't it? Yeah. So can you, can you see that that is more purpley than that one is bluey? It sits between the, Those. the marine and the, the royal. Which is why we needed that. This, this is what we needed. We did need it, didn't we? Yeah. So they're like your sea colours. We, all, I think, we describe those as sea blues. You see, because then, and then that one will come into effect there, and it will be a very beautiful thing because look, that's where it's going to sit between there and there. Mm. Yeah, there's a method to our madness. Otherwise, it's just madness, which it yeah. might be. Do you want to spread those purples at them while I try to away? These are lovely. These go through light purples. We've got a little bit of um, magenta and, and rose in here as well, I think. These aren't labelled. These were just 
but some people ordered the subscription bundles but weren't part of the subscription, so they just got the odd one or two, and they didn't come labelled, but this has got the label of what the fabrics are. So can we just show you why we needed <coughs> the bluier ones? Yeah. Because this is the closest, the amethyst. Or is that the lavender? I can't remember. Um, but that's kind of the closest that we have, and it's just not quite... It's not quite grey enough. No. Which sounds horrible, but... And you can see isn't. there that one. So that's why we've got these extra ones anyway. Not Beautiful. just because we like the colours and we love fabric. It's got nothing to do with that at all. Oh, no, nothing to do with that. <laughs> it's nothing, nothing to, do, to with do with that. Nothing to do with it at all. Nothing, nothing. to see here. No. No, move We're on. not enablers at all. <laughs> Guilty as charged, yeah. Jane. Guilty as charged. I have no regrets. Um, no, I'm going to leave you yeah, yeah, to show everybody what we're doing today. And I'm going to go and sit over there. Oh, yeah, Gemma's messaging me again. She's going to tell you something important, I'm sure. I don't know. Right, I'm going to leave you to show everything. Okay, so beautiful Triangle Madness quilt designed by Lynn Goldworthy at Lily Quilts. Beautiful bundle of spectrum colours ranging from yellows to oranges through to reds, pinks, magentas and then purples and all half square triangles. Lynn has um, set out a colour chart for you with the colour numbers and that you might think well that just means nothing then does it because that's just a list of numbers but very helpfully Macawa have put the shade card of the spectrum in here so you can match and our computer is pretty good at ma of, of sending out the colours as they are so you can match them up I have tried to put the bundle in the order that the colours are. Whether it will get to you in that order, I can't guarantee, but that is my plan, is that they'll be cut in the yeah. order that they are in. But we don't want to... And you will get a fat quarter of each colour. Now, a fat quarter is a very generous amount because you don't need nearly that much to make this quilt. Well, this is good. So, you know, you're going to be able to make it bigger or make two or make cushions or have loads left to fill for your stash. But just look at that bundle of fabrics. Does that not make your heart happy? Look at yes. Them. They're gorgeous. So <clears throat> you will need to cut rectangles of your fabrics. She's listed them as one to 20. There are 20 fat quarters in here. One being the yellow, Y05, down to the purpley color which is L75. So that's fabric 20 and this is fabric 1. Some of them you just need to cut one rectangle, some you need to cut two, some you need to cut three and then the rest you need to cut into four rectangles. Now <clears throat> the method Lynn likes to use, and I've seen her use this quite a lot in her um, when she does half square triangles, it's a bit like um, foundation paper piecing. So in the back of the pattern you get the, pa the pattern for the paper, um, you'll need to copy, and I think she tells you how many you'll need. Um, boom, 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 boom. Templates, does it say? Yes, 36 of the templates. If you want to do it this way. If you want to do it this way. I'm going to show you how to do it without using a paper template, because they are half square triangles at the end of the day. You cut your um, triangle for Lynn's method bigger than it needs to be and you put your paper piece, you'll trim it on the blue line and place it on your fabric. It's about a quarter of an inch overhang all the way around. And then you sew on the red lines on the pattern. There's blue, which are the cutting lines, red, which are your sewing lines, and then there's a green line here, which you then it trims the ears off your triangles. It just sounds painful, Jane. It does sound painful. So if you're going to do this method, you want to make your, um, you know, you're probably better to have your <coughs> needle in the middle of your uh, foot, and you want ooh, your ooh, ooh, ooh. sewing stitch to be quite small. 
because you're going to rip the papers out. So it acts like a perforation, isn't yes, it? Yes, it does. It perforates the papers to make it easier to, to, to rip through. So just position your needle on the line <clears throat> and sew along the line. Now, of course, you can start on one corner because it's like a V shape. And you'll follow the line. And when you get to this point here, you can just pivot and go down to the other side. So you can pivot your paper and you can sew down to the other side. Now I've got my needle length 1.4. Lynn suggests 1.5, mine goes 1.4 or 1.6, so I've gone the smaller measurement. You do have to be careful because obviously unpicking is a nightmare if you've got a really yes. short stitch like this. But because you're following a line. Now, all I've done is I've just pulled the fabric, pulled my thread, and then I'm going to go back up the other way. Again, just lining it up. What I suggest you do is that you put your fabrics in colour order and then you number them because there's a chart to follow so that you get the combinations in the correct order. You don't have to be in that order, you can make your own combinations you know, if you prefer other fabrics with it. But to get the ombre effect that Lynn's achieved, I would follow her chart and her pattern to get the same to get the same outcome. It's because a, she's, paired, she's paired different combinations together in a different order so that they, it For good flows. reason. Yeah. yeah. So once you've done that, you're then going to cut on the blue line. So you'll cut your, your rectangle in half. Oh, Jane, I never found my perfect five for you, did I? Yeah, don't worry. And you did can ask. You, I can show on, on, this, on this ruler. Um, if you've got the perfect five, it just makes life easier. And then you'll cut them in diagonals. And before you start to take the papers out, you will then trim... And you can trim the edges before you start cutting them up if you want to, but you trim it to the edge of the paper. And you've got your green line here, so you can also trim off your corners or your ears, whichever way you want to describe them. And that just takes out some of the bulk for when you're going to join them together. It's funny, isn't it? When you use Creative Quiz rulers, you get used to those ears not being there. Yes, because you, you tend to trim them off anyway, don't you? Yeah. And um, I don't trim my ears off because <laughs> I like to have them there because they act as a marker for me. So, oh, okay. you know, we're all, we're all slightly different. But saying that, there have been times when I have trimmed them off because it does give me a better finish. So... You know, never say never. It's my motto. Mm -hmm. Trim that off. Trim it against the edge of the paper and just following the, the lines that are on the papers. Now, obviously, if you're going to do this, you're going to need your second best rotary cutter or your, as soon as you finish this project, you're going to want to change your blade in your rotary cutter because you've been cutting paper. Which is why you've got that one, because we keep saying after every show, must change the blade on this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the same with your needle as well, because the sewing through paper will blunt your needle as well. Particularly because you're using a small stitch as well, so it'll be going through the paper a lot more times than it would do through fabric. 
so you can see you've got quite a little you'll have quite a big pile by the time you've done it of waste fabric so just fold your paper back when you nail down it gently because it's on a bias and then hold it as you pull the paper off because again you're on a bias here so just hold it gently while you remove the papers and then this piece here will come off. That's a quite a satisfying job it to do. It is quite a satisfying job. In front of a movie or something, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's a sort of sit and do it in an evening when you don't need the best light and you've got a nice film to watch. What would be your film of choice? What genre, genre Jane, would you go for? Well, like a good murder mystery or a... <laughs> Or good a, for who? <laughs> or a thriller. Or anything with Jason Statham in, to be honest. Oh, Jason Statham, <laughs> yeah. Do you know, he started out life as a diver like Tom Daly. Oh, right. Mm. I just think he's lovely. I don't know him, obviously, but, you know, in my head he's a really nice guy. Yeah, he's got that kind of feel about Even though he plays baddies, he but plays he sort of really. good He plays baddies. a good baddie. He's a good baddie. Yeah. And he's kind-hearted. And he's yeah, like, that's the one. So you get beautiful, <coughs> neat, half square triangles using this method. Obviously, you know, photocopy it on your cheapest paper, not your best um, quality GSM paper, because you're going to rip it out and you want it to rip easily. So. Yeah, your 80 GSM, your or cheap, cheapy, cheapy. Cheapy, cheap. So it won't be the stuff that we print everything off on because we no. print off well, on. Well, you'll, you'll only get the one an hour in the pattern that we stuff. send you, so you'll need to photocopy anyway. How many so. do they need, Jane? 36. I'm just thinking... That you might do it. No, it would no, because that would cost us. <laughs> like, <laughs> but if, if, if anybody wanted that printing off, we could probably do it for the cost of a pattern for you if you wanted 36 of those printing for you. Gemma's just fallen off a chair. Yeah. <laughs> She's just like, what? <laughs> oh, Bridget's just laughing. It was me. It was her order that we interfered oh, with. was it? Yeah. Jane says it's not interfering. Should I be delighted to have my colour choices queried? Oh, <laughs> I find you. it really difficult sometimes. We weren't querying so much as just checking that she was happy with her order. That's yeah, all. We th said, the ivory is nice with it, it looks okay, but if it is to go with it, maybe you'd like to have... Have you considered this option? Um, Sue says, even in a fabric shop, I often wander to take fabrics to the window to check the tones. I found the tilde shells the hardest to tone as it's a grey-brown. Yeah, they can be. They can be quite They tricky. can be, absolutely, because, um, yeah. Um, what was the other thing I was going to say about that? The salvages. So on the salvages, you all know this. Surely you will know this. And if you don't, well, I'm either teaching grandmother to suck eggs or you know it. Um, but on the salvages, they have all the colour tones, which can be really useful. So you can just, my grandma always used to keep the salvages in her handbag. Yes. And take them with her. And if she ever needed to colour swatch, yeah, then she it's would always do that. Handy. Um, now, of course, then you have people like Cave who put colours together a little bit differently. And actually, there'll be a completely different colour created by having different ones next to it and that yes. illusion so it doesn't always work but that's yeah. yeah oh elizabeth says we have a new lady tash and graham hello Anne graham welcome welcome to the madness um and chris couldn't as this she's already bought her, bought her kit <laughs> yes she's like sewing by numbers says Sue. It this is, is great it's, it's lovely paint by numbers um oh, so, does it blunt the needle quickly that's a good question yes i hope not because i only put a new needle in yesterday it will if you're going to sew, I mean, it will blunt it quicker. And, and we always advocate to change your needle after every big project anyway, don't we? So yeah. if you're thinking your needle needs changing, maybe do your paper sewing first and then change your needle. Um, but definitely change it after you've finished the project. And Auntie Lizzie says, a kind baddie. The original Bonds were always so polite when they killed their baddies. But they were, weren't they? Yes. You know. Done in a very professional... Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So... You can do it the paper pieced way, but that's a lot of paper wastage and you can see you have to trim it down. If you have got um, a little perfect five ruler, it'll make life easier for you. But you can cut your rectangle. We do somewhere, Jane. 
at the same size, well, I've cut this slightly smaller, because you want four and a half inch finished, right, a half square triangles. So they're finished at four inches, but they're four and a half inches with the seam allowance. So at this stage, before you put them into your project, they need to be four and a half inch squares. If you cut your rectangles at five by 10, mark your halfway point with your fabric marker. And I was thinking about this and I was thinking this would be perfect for layer cakes. Oh. And then mark the diagonal from corner to corner towards the line. Mm. So you've got the same layout as the paper piecing. And then you can sew a quarter of an inch either side of the line. Now, if you start in the middle, Ooh, hang on. I'm going to move my needle across to the quarter of an inch mark. I'm going to put my stitch to my normal sewing stitch. I was so rusty on that machine yesterday. I couldn't remember where anything was. I haven't used it for over a year. I know. Because it's mine. You snap at it. <laughs> I left it. It's mine. <laughs> Don't use my... I went, should I go and get my machine? I mean, it's not my machine, but, you know. It kind know of is, it. though, isn't it, Jane? Let's be honest. Really Possession fine. is nine-tenths of the law. Yeah. <laughs> so, down the one diagonal, pull the thread slightly, back up to the middle. When you get to this line, I'm going to stop. Oh, it decides to sew an extra stitch for me. There we go. And then we go back down. Give it a little tug, and then we can go back along the other diagonal. Yeah, when you give it a little tug, it's um, it's a little bit like chain piecing, isn't it? You yeah, know, just just gives that extra bit of thread, yeah. so it doesn't rock it up. Oh, Ivy's with us, and Louise are with us. Good morning. So now you've got the same principle. Well, you will have when I change the camera angle, Jane. We're just admiring the back of your. Uh, Back on my head. <laughs> <laughs> it's very nice. So um, you'll cut your, your rectangle in half to make your two squares along that mark line. And then you'll cut your um, squares in half along the diagonal marked line. I guess with the foundation paper method, when you're working on a bias, it holds it. It's like the yes, old it's holding isn't it. it in. But because you're working with a rectangle to start with, it's only a bias once you've cut it anyway. So it's not. And then you have to jiggery poke it out anyway. I think, you know, with the, with the foundation method, you get a very accurate square, straight off. No messing. Yeah. Um, this one, I've cut my squares slightly bigger so I can trim them down. Okay. So there's a little bit of jiggery pokery either way. Is yeah, what so this me. method, um, we then, if you've got your perfect five, it'll do this no messing. Jane, I feel really bad now. Let, let me Don't worry, because we can use this ruler, it's fine. Do you know what else would be good, Jane? Jane, because, Jane. Because, um, You've got your four and a half inch mark here and here on your creative grids ruler. Yeah, rotary cutting. Test you in a rotate, rotating cutting mat would be perfect. So you've got your 45 degree line. So place that along your seam line. There it is. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> if only everyone was made so happy so easily. So yes. <laughs> And we want four and a half, so just position it so it's just over the four and a half slightly. Oh, Lynn's with us. She said, morning. Oh, love this pattern too. So we can rotate the mat and we can cut two sides at a time. We can turn that round or we can turn the mat round and then we can place our ruler four and a half.
get it right, Jane. Looking at the wrong side, that's what it is. Mm -mm. This mark here. It's this dashed black and white line. <coughs> Do you know, I count myself really lucky because I started out with Creative Grids rulers. And I know that sometimes people get a little bit discombobulated with having white colours on one side and black colours on the other side. and But I just count myself incredibly lucky because I've, I've makes, only ever really used them. It does them. make life a lot easier with a creative grid ruler. The trouble for me is I started off life with just a very basic one with a 45 degree line. So I'm used to using that. Yeah, yeah, Without yeah. that, I did half inch. And I use my, my cutting mat a lot. But... The creative grids do make life so much easier. Oh, Lindsay so we can and Janet and Amanda have joined us as well. Everyone's joining us this morning, Jane. Square, you can square the, these triangles off, you see, and you'll lose your ears at the same time. It's a very neat way of doing it, actually. Isn't it, it is. And it's also, you're not using the papers, but you've still got, by trimming it afterwards, you still got that feeling that you've got nice, neat squares to start with. Jane, what would be your um, technique of choice on this one? Um, I would, and I'm going to show you in a minute, I'm just going to show you the final method. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa! Cool. Well, Three only, ways. Only be, it's only you're... measurement wise. It's not. It's the same. <laughs> it's the same method. But because I'm a quick, get it done as quickly as possible, and get it put together and get it finished kind of person. Jane, do you remember a time when we used to sew for fun and relaxation? I still sew for fun now, but yeah. <laughs> less of the relaxation. <laughs> Just have to do it. <laughs> I just have to do it quite fast, do it quickly, which can be fun in itself because it's like a bit of a challenge. Yes. How many ways can we get to do this? How can I do it? How quickly can I get? Yeah. And what corners can I cut and still get the same finish? Yes. Find a quick way of getting it put together. And then we pass these things on to you. Well, this is it. We're just passing that because sometimes... Yes, you want to take all the time and want a project that's going to go, you know, that you're going to just keep dipping into and enjoying the process of. And then other times you want to make a quick project for a friend who's having a baby or you've got a friend who's a bit poorly and you want to make them a quilted hug. And you just want to make it quickly and you want to use the quickest method possible. And that's nice too. So there you've got all of that and you will still end up with a little pile of fabric scraps that really, you know, honestly, you cannot do anything with those other than maybe stuff a cushion. And then, <clears throat> you all know me, I like my seven eighths and all of that malarkey. I get it cut and get it put together. I do, I do know you for that, Jane. And, so, and it's, yeah, you would be the person, if I need to double check on the different formulas. Although we do have now various posters and things to remind me everywhere. Yes. But if it's not something that you do, it's like a recipe, isn't it? If yeah, you don't make the recipe for a little while, you can forget the proportion of the ingredients. And people well. like probably your generation and younger, they, they've lost the use of inches and yards. It's not so familiar. <laughs> it's not so familiar with them because they've been yeah. taught yeah, centimetres. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm a metric I'm, girl. I was, in the middle, so I got taught both, so I can work with both. I tend to use grams when I'm baking and inches when I'm sewing. It's just the way I work. It's just how it is. That's how I was taught. So the formula for half square triangles is you add seven eighths of an inch to your finished size. So these yes. need to be finished four inches. Yes. So four and seven eighths. Yes. So the width of my rectangle the short side is four and seven eighths, and then twice that is nine and three quarters, because that's what two yes. times four and seven eighths is. So that's what I've cut my, my rectangle at. Okay. I've marked my squares the same, and I'm going to sew it the same way with a quarter of an inch 
either side. Starting on the middle of the one side, Oh, Ken said, morning, a bit late. Had a lovely young man at 3.15 this morning pulling up his bushes. Oh. Thought uh, he that would... That doesn't sound like it was intentional. No, rearrange my garden. Well, that's a bit rude. Yeah. What a weird way to start your day. Morning, Sarah. Um, yeah, Auntie Lizzie said, these kids, they know nothing about inches. It's... <sighs> I'm going to be honest... The seven and the eighth timetable are my least favourite times table, so just... I've got an app on my phone. That what? Measures There's that an app for this? I've got an app on my phone that calculates in, inch, in fractions. Right. So, even though I do know that four, two, four and seven eighths is nine and three quarters, I can check it on my phone. Because there's an app for that. There's an app for that. Yes. <clears throat> so again, we'll just cut this in half. And we'll cut each of the squares in half along the diagonal. And now I've got four and a half inch squares, half square triangles. So I don't have to do any trimming if I don't want to. Um, and I can just get on and use them. So if you feel confident with that, and you may have slightly wobbly edges, you can trim the ears off. Again, you can just go around and trim the ears off. But these are the correct size. Depending on your seam allowance, but if your seam allowance is a little bit short, they're all going to be the same. And you can trim them down because they'll come out a bit wider. If it's a bit wide, they might be a little bit smaller. But the thing is, they'll all be consistently the same size. So that won't affect you too much. So these now are all Four and a half. So I don't have to do anything to those. I could maybe trim the ears off. But that would be what I would do because that would be quicker for me. But I know that everybody's not familiar with the four and seven eighths. Yeah. So doing it at five and ten and then trimming that little bit off might be more helpful for people if they don't want to use the accurate paper piecing method. Lynn then gives you a chart of... Um, the colours to put together and in which row they go and then to put the rows together and you've got three sets that go into the rows and it's basically a case of putting those together and you can put them all like this to start with you might want to have a couple of the same um, colourway and it's 12, 12 squares in a row by 12 rows. Yeah. So you work your way down. The chart's all there. There's a colour picture as well to help you with the layout if you want to. But once you've got them in, in your rows of 12, and you'll, and you'll mix them around, you'll move, you'll move the, the triangles around so you've got them in different orientations. And you, you'll maybe mix in. And, and the suggestions here about maybe taking two from one row and putting them in the next row so it gives it a bit more of an ombre effect. Yeah. But then just sew them together in pairs. Sew the pairs together. Yeah. And then the pairs together so that it doesn't start to bend and bow. You'll get a nice straight line by doing it that way. And then you'll just keep making your rows. And then when you've got your rows all made, lay them out, make sure you're happy with the layout. This is, this is the one to lay out, isn't yeah. it? It really is the one to lay and out. And then, again, so you rows together in pairs and then the pairs of rows together and then you'll get yeah. half. You'll get two, two lots of three rows in pairs. Yeah. And then um, sew those two halves together to make your full one. Um, Lynn has done a quilt on, quilting on this and she's done a lovely... Um, she's done a wave, Wave. It's a very gentle wave. So again, this is the sort of thing you can get with your walking foot. Yes. You can do this with your walking foot. 
a nice little gentle meander. Um, consistent widths apart, but they're all different. You know, there's a different wave to that wave on there. It's just slightly different. Um, it's been done in a nice pale grey thread, and that blends with all the colours. Pale grey is one of those ones, isn't it? Pale grey, mushroom, yeah. anything like that. It just disappears. It just goes and in and it, it'll it's just the most and give the texture without inoffensive of colours. Yeah. 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 Now, there's no binding on this. It does mention the binding in the um, pattern, but this quilt's not bound. It's a knife edge finish. And that's where you turn the um, quilt top under and then they bring the backing under and you sew it down against the edge of the backing and I did that on one of the quilts that we did so we've got some instructions for the, knife, bag. for the knife edge quilt yeah. finish so there's a guide there if you oh, want to do that finish overhead uh, Lo's with us she's still not feeling fabulous you know? oh dear poor Lo I hope you feel better soon um, so yeah it's um, if you consistently sew your, uh, press your seams to the dark side, if you get points matching, you, they're, going to, they're going to nestle. So you get sometimes you'll be able to nestle them. Oh, but you works. can always rearrange your, your seam as you're putting them together to get them to nestle. So. Yeah. But yeah, it's a lovely quilt to make. It's a, it's a proper once beauty, got, isn't it? Yeah, once you've got all, and once you've finished this quilt, you'll be an expert at half square triangles. It almost looks like. Um, Stained glass, doesn't it? it does, that sort yeah. of it's got shattered glass yeah. effect. Lovely mottled, and the way it ombres through is really pretty. Very clever. Very, very, very clever. Oh, Ken said, yeah, I had to learn both imperial and metric. Once you learn it, you've got it. Yeah. And the, the hobby is uh, woodworking, so you use it all the time. Judy's here as well. Leslie's here. We've got Hello. everyone here. There we go. Yeah, so it's a nice quilt. Lovely. So get your instructions. Get your instructions, get your fabrics. I get think that's fabrics. the thing, isn't it? Yeah. Part of why this is such a joyful quilt is the colours yes, that it has been it, done yeah. in. And that's, that's the clever thing here. Um, and I think this is why you chose to have the spectrum colours, didn't you? Because, yeah, because our shading, it's although just we've got different. all those fabric, it's just slightly different. Whereas these have been, these are the fabrics that are in the quilt. And like it or not, but Jane, sometimes... It when you see something, you want it exactly like yes, that. And when I saw do. that quilt, I wanted it exactly, exactly like, like that. Yeah. Not a little bit like it. No. I wanted it exactly like that because that works. Yes. Yeah. It's like there are those specific recipes that you never mess with because it's exactly yeah. right. It doesn't need any adjusting. It's, that's, that's exactly it. what it is. That's yeah. the one. Um, and so that's kind of what I feel with this one. That is the one. Yeah. Um, so... Fat quarter bundles on this, a fat quarter of 20 different fabrics, which in any stash, whether you make the quilt or not. I was going to say, this is the, the sort of bundle is that's going to be perfect for your stash. This, it's these colours are builder. delicious. Yeah. 20 fat quarters. Very nice, thank you. Someone's got to count those, Jane. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the other thing to say is if you put two in your basket, we'll cut it as half metres. Yes, we will, yeah. So if you want a mega stash yeah. of, um, of fat quarters, then we can do that, or half metres rather, then we can do that. And again, if you put four in, we'd send you a whole metre of each of them. <gasps> I know, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Could you imagine? Oh, I love bundling that. <laughs> Could you imagine? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's all good. It's all good. Um, Oh, Lo said, Jane, that quilt will look fabulous in the moho. Looking forward yeah, to you sending not, it to me. It's not mine. It's sorry. not ours to send, Lo. Sorry. Sorry. Um, and Helen said, oh, it's beautiful. Thank you, Jane. Uh, actually, we need to thank the Cowra for sending us their yeah, sample. Yeah, they lent us the sample, which is very generous of them. And we're going to bundle it up and send it on. Got to give it back. No, I don't want to. to I don't want home. to. I mean, if only we had the fabrics and a spare day to make it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but you guys can. That's the absolute beauty of it. Um, Jane, can you please flash around our fabrics we couldn't find? These ones? Yeah. I said that to Gemma this morning. I said, we put a bundle of fabrics we couldn't find. And she said, what are you talking about? Yeah, it's like, well, if you couldn't find them, how can you put them Yeah, together? I know. <laughs> These are the fabrics we couldn't find um, These in our normal planes supply. So if you want them because they just bridge that gap, 
You can have that half metre bundle there. Just gorgeous. Look at that. It might be the one that Jane has even hugged. Who knows? Caressed and loved. All, <laughs> actually, it all gets a bit caressed and loved, even as we're cutting it madly and putting it into the boxes it ready really to does. pack. It all gets a bit of a stroke. Yeah. Because you can't resist. And then you get those orders that we all, we all run around the warehouse and go, oh, look, haven't they chosen well? Oh, look at these fabrics together. This is gorgeous. And then we get really nervous, and then we have to have a ten-minute conversation on what we think they might be waking, making with yes. it. <laughs> Very nosy. Oh, it's all good. It's all yes. good. Not at um, all business-like, really. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, yeah. it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Um, so yeah, a little bit of a quick <coughs> show today. Tomorrow, and I still haven't quite finished making it yet. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Is it going to be the sort of thing that you're going to make loads of because it's so useful that you really love it? Yeah, yeah. for different parts of the house. Mm. And for different people. Wonderful. Mm. Nice. Mm. Looking forward to that. I've wanted to make one for some time. Yes. And I keep looking at the way that everybody, I've done the classic thing of looking at how everybody else makes it and gone, no, 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 no. No, I can do this better. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> what I want... Is it like this? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that's... It's a bit like me, isn't it? Looking at the, the patterns and thinking, right, well, what's the quickest way of making this then? Let's cut this corner, but we still get the same effect. Yeah. And you look at things and you think, oh, actually, if you did this, you wouldn't need to do that and you'll still get the same finish. Yeah. Or just I want something that is removable. Yes. Or, you know, or I want that a bit bigger. Or I don't want to put binding on tiny corners. No. Yeah. yeah, all that kind of stuff. So I'm still working that out. Um, but we will be back tomorrow with beautiful Lewis and Iron fabrics and half meter heavens of brand new fabrics that arrived last week that are simply gorgeous. They're stunning. Yeah. yeah. So that's what we're looking at tomorrow. Um, yes. So take care, everybody. Thank you for joining us. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow, 10 a.m. Yeah. Take care. Lots of love. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.